Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a full moon in Virgo reading for my dearest Aquarius. Now Aquarius, this full moon is taking place on March 18th. And with the sun in Pisces and moon in Virgo, we're definitely feeling the magic. The last full moon before the equinox, it offers us a chance for closure, healing, and emotional release. Now, my dear Aquarius, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you feel called to do so. And let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with some angel number messages for you. All the cards I'm using are listed down below in the description box if you're interested. All right, let's see what messages my Aquarius need to hear for this full moon in Virgo. Number 77. So these numbers could be numbers that you're already seeing, um, or they may be numbers or sequences that you see in the near future, in the, in the next couple of weeks. Take them as signs or nudges from the universe, your spirit guides, and especially your angels. So I am brave. It's time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. Ooh, I love zero, zero. Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. Number 22, ooh, master number. You're in, the, in possession of incredible creative powers, and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. And, ooh, 1111, I am awakening. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are. Ho, 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 Aquarius. And at the bottom, we have number six. Beautiful. Your heart is your gift. You're a natural-born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You're the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. All right, Aquas, let's go ahead and see what messages come through for you now in the tarot. We're going to take a look at your energy, what you're leaving behind, what you're moving towards, what you need to know, what you need to do, final outcome, and advice energy. Clear messages for my Aquarius for this full moon in Virgo, please. Clear messages and guidance for my Aquarius for this full moon in Virgo, please. All right, so we've got the Emperor in reverse, Aries energy. So Aquarius, um, some of you, you've been involved with a situation or a person that was very, very controlling. It was very my way or the highway. This can be a boss. This could be a lover, a partner, a parent. This can also be that part of yourself that was being really unyielding and very black and white. It's a distorted masculine energy. Now, remember my new moon and my full moon readings are not always about love, although they certainly can be. All right, what you're leaving behind, the King of Wands. So a lot of my Aquarius, you are leaving behind an Aries or a fire sign. It feels like a boss. Now, some of you, you may be leaving. Yeah, may, yeah, I feel like you're leaving a job, although the King of Wands can also be, you know, the mother or father of your children. Um, we'll see. What you're moving towards is the Nine of Swords. So a lot of my Aquas... This is a really tough decision, and it gives you a lot of anxiety to make this move, but something had to give. You couldn't continue in the status quo. And the universe, you have to you have to know, recognize, and believe that the universe is arranging people and experiences to help you succeed, okay? And, um, and wake up to who you truly are. And whatever the situation was, a job, a living situation, a marriage, um, is for some of you, it might even be a move. You might be changing like where you're living because it, was, it wasn't allowing you to be who you truly are. What you need to know, the three of pentacles, here's the universe arranging people and situations that are going to help you and make this journey a lot easier for you. 
compatibility, teamwork. Now what you need to know, three of cups in reverse, there are a lot of people that are going to talk about this. There are a lot of people that I feel whatever this is you're doing, Aquarius, is going to trigger others because they don't have the same strength and courage to do what you've done. And some of you, you are leaving a very painful, difficult, even abusive marriage or like a work situation where it was just like it was very, very stressful. This is people talking bad about you. And what spirit wants you to know is to let it go. It doesn't matter. You're on the right path. You know what's best for you. You know what's best for you. So don't let them pull you out of your loving presence and off balance. And we have the three of swords. Look at this number sequence. Three, three, three. So put that, you know, along with 22, 77, 11, 11, 0, 0, 3, 3, 3. Wow, this is you getting out of a bad situation, an unhealthy situation. This is you healing. Now, some of my aquas, you guys have been really working on inner child healing, and you may have experienced some sort of trauma in childhood that was sort of keeping you blocked, but I feel like there's a major breakthrough here. There may be some difficulties still with relationships within your family, and that's just for some of you, but you are doing the right thing. And the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady, wins the race. Stay committed, Aquarius. It may not happen as quickly as you would like it to, but the Knight of Pentacles is one foot in front of the other. I keep going. I bring in my success. I bring in this healing. I up level. I love this. And, you know, open your eyes. Listen and think about everything that's happening. Trust and the guidance that you're getting. But also there's a situation, there's a group of people that don't have your back and don't, it's not meant to make you angry or spiteful or paranoid, but just know that you run your own race. And Aquarius energy is so inclined to, you know, to be unique. Um, you know, I love Aquarius season because, you know, somebody said to me, you know, just like, let your freak flag fly, you know, and I don't mean that in any sort of derogatory term, but Aquarius energy is open. It's about, you know, dancing to the beat of your own drum. Um, you don't have to be conventional and that's what I'm getting, but I feel this is on a very deep level where you're healing and you're breaking away from a group of people or a situation that really was quite oppressive for you. So the emperor in reverse, um, this is your energy. And, and, and many of my Aquarius, you're giving yourselves permission um, to be, be to be true to yourself. Hanged man, you're seeing things differently. You're getting unstuck. Some of my aquas out there, you are starting to see with the hanged man in reverse that there was a person or situation that was keeping you trapped. That was maybe even abusive. You've had an up leveling and now it's time to move. Four of swords. Yep, it's time to move. It's time for action. You're getting out from under someone or something here, Aqua. And that's it's beautiful. And this full moon in Virgo, it opens up a door. Um, it gives us a chance for closure, healing, and emotional release. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here. So you're leaving behind this King of Wands energy. Some of my Aquas, you're changing jobs or you were in a position that maybe you weren't happy I know that sounds a little bit weird, but somebody might have been like a leader. Um, maybe you were in a management role and you realize that just wasn't for you. You work better on your own or you don't want that responsibility because it's not it's not aligned with your personality or something like that. Yeah, there was some sort of beautiful offer. It seemed beautiful, maybe even seemed too good to be true at the time. Um, but it didn't make you as happy as you thought it would. Or, yeah, for some of you, you may have rushed into a marriage or a commitment or a relationship or a job. It seemed it was a beautiful offer on paper. But in reality, it either wasn't what what it what it portrayed itself to be. And for some of you, you I, and I and this is a tough message, but it's been coming through since the beginning of the reading. And I kind of was trying to avoid it. But for some of you, this is somebody that really changed once you got married or you got into a higher level of commitment and they even became like controlling, possessive and abusive towards you. Um, and I'm sending you so much love and light because that's very difficult um, when somebody switches it up on you like that and you're emotionally invested and you love this person. Um, but that's not for all of you. That's just for one or two of my aquas out there. But whatever this is, it's not emotionally fulfilling for you. And you're seeing it differently. And you know that all I'm hearing is it's time to move. I got to go. It's time to go. Um, this can't go on. So with the Nine of Swords in reverse, yeah, there's the Stark Knight of the Soul, this heavy period coming to an end 
with the eight of swords. Yeah, but there's a behavior here that needs to shift and change. And some of my aquas, you're doing some soul retrieval. You might be doing past life regression. And I, I do see many of my aquas here that are either in therapy. Um, and there's something here that needs to be dealt with either from your childhood or some sort of trauma. Um, and there's a fear. Yeah, there's definitely a fear and the chariot, yeah, but I, I feel the fear of being stuck in an unhappy situation is greater than towing the line, than staying. And I do think that that ultimately is going to, that that is ultimately, that's sort of the tipping point. Um, because some of you, you might be leaving a job you've been in for a long time that provided a lot of stability or a marriage. Um, that you put a lot of hard work into or a living situation, whatever it might be. But I think the fear of being stuck where you are in this emotionally unfulfilling situation or relationship is greater than the fear of moving through it. But I can see it's a very difficult decision. Um, so do make sure you get out of your head, Aqua, when you can, okay? Just check in, do a full body scan. Um, if you have friends, people who you love and trust that you can bounce this off of. Um, Three of Pentacles, this is what you need to know, that the universe is conspiring with you to bring you people in situations that are going to make this a lot easier than you ever imagined. This is cooperation, compatibility, and teamwork the four of cups, you have some sort of offer coming out of the blue. And I think this is, you just have to take this step and get out of this over analysis paralysis, the coulda, woulda, shoulda, the beating yourself up. You have to forgive yourself first and move forward, Aqua. You're going to have some sort of beautiful offer coming out of the blue that's going to be just what you need, just when you need it. Queen of coins, so it's either a job or a living situation. Um, it's help. It's help. It's respite. You know, this queen of coins, she's offering you just what you need, stability, nurturing. It's beautiful energy because this is what you need to know. You don't have to worry. The abundant universe is going to provide for you, Aqua. What you need to do, the three of cups, stay emotionally balanced because I do think you're going to have some emotional gook sh thrown at you and I, what I mean by gook is like there are going to be people that are going to be triggered by you leaving the situation by breaking out of the mold by not towing the line and it could be somebody who's wanted or likes having you under their control somebody you may have previously given power to could be a group of people that you work with that they see you leaving um, and secretly they want to leave but instead of you know doing that themselves or making those changes and it doesn't have to be at work. It can be any in any situation, making changes, maybe getting sober, maybe going, you know, taking care of yourself more or something like that. They're criticizing you. So just be aware of that. Um, I do keep getting like there's a need for you to protect your energy, Aqua. So you can do that in a lot of different ways. You can do that with candles. You can do that with moon magic. You can do that with incense, with sage, through prayer, through meditation. Um, because I do feel some of you, and it's not meant to make you feel paranoid, but there is some negative energy being thrown at you. Um, and we see the justice card in reverse. It's not fair. But remember that you don't have to. And, and this is the message that came up originally with this card. You don't have to worry about what other people think or feel. Okay. Obviously, that doesn't mean you, you're a sociopath or you're a total egotistical maniac here. But what I mean is, you know, people that don't agree with you doing or making positive changes for yourself, they're gonna they're gonna kick up some they're gonna they're gonna kick up some dust they're gonna they're gonna throw some stuff at you but you know karma is gonna take care of that you don't have to you just need to continue on this path to happiness and wellness yeah and a lot of my Aquarius you guys are gonna be calling in some serious coin because you make this change you're getting out from under a place or a situation that was really numbing or dampening your creativity. Some of you are getting a different, you're getting a job offer and it's, it's huge. It's not only going to speak to your soul and with better people, um, it's going to pay you a whole lot more. And there are going to be haters. Some of my aquas, you're, if you're on social media or you have your own business, that's about to take off hard work. 
but you can't stay stuck and you know that, but it's going to take you getting out of your comfort zone. And like I said, people are going to hurl some SHIT at you, but you don't have to worry about it. Your creative powers are going to let, are going to help you achieve whatever this is you want. And first and foremost, it's healing. Follow your intuition. Your angels and guides are helping you here. Um, we see the Queen of Cups in reverse. And we see the Two of Swords. Yeah, some of my aquas you're going to be blocking. Maybe a water sign. It feels like a female energy, but it doesn't have to. Remember, my readings are not gender specific. So we all have masculine and feminine energy. But I feel like you are going to be Two of Swords blocking anybody who brings you drama. The Queen of Cups to me is somebody who can also be emotionally manipulative. Um, I do feel there are going to be people that are going to treat you poorly or say negative things because they're being triggered because deep down they don't feel good enough and so they're going to be projecting. So just be aware of that. Yeah, I, I also feel that I also feel that the universe is and I'm an intuitive reader, so it's not a typical reading of the Two of Swords, but I also feel the universe is equipping you with some serious power, some serious spiritual weapons, if you will, or arms, sounds a little bit better, to protect you on this journey. Because you can see she's alone, she's at night, she's near the water. And although it could be peaceful, why is she holding two swords, right? Because I do feel there's a need for her to protect herself. And I feel that, again, we see that, um, that you are being protected. And the universe is arranging the right people in the right situations to come towards you to help you nurture this dream, whatever it might be. Eight of coins, your hard work is going to pay off. I feel there's hard work in the, in, in the works for you. I think that's nothing that is going to scare you. Um, but your hard work is going to pay off. And I almost feel too, this energy with the two of swords, like this is like your, you have a spirit guide or an angel or a passed on loved one, somebody who's like keeping the, the negative energy at bay. Um, and a lot of my aquas out there, you guys are going to be cutting somebody off because you're recognizing that it just, it throws you off. It's toxic for you. Um, it's disempowering. It's draining your energy and you're only, you're on the up and up. That's what I'm seeing. So fellow travelers, look at that and we get the three of coins. Support is all around you. You have an offer coming out of the blue if you need a place to stay, um, if it's a job, um, if it's protection, if it's financial support. I mean, you're just going to be really surprised because you're open to receive, okay? Wandering path. Enjoy the journey. It may not feel completely direct. You may not be able to see more than, you know, one, two, maybe three steps ahead of you. Um, but spirit's telling you to trust, trust in the journey. Now with the fox, I, I love fox, but at the same time, remember, you do have someone or a group of people around you that may not have your highest and greatest good, um, in mind. So spirit does want you just to be aware of that, that there are people who are trying to be strategic. You are about to take a risk and venture forward on a grand, brand new journey. And not everybody's going to be happy for you, Aqua, but that doesn't matter. Okay, and fogged in. Go slow, take time, but you are ready to move forward. Hold on one second, Aquas. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what final messages come through for my dearest Aquarius on this journey. Beautiful new journey, getting out of your comfort zone. Go slow. You're going to be so surprised if you've been, if people have been telling you you can't do this for one reason or another, or if somebody's been saying you'll never find another love or partner like me, or you'll never find a better job, they are so wrong. You are lining up here for success. All right, we see the anointed answer the call, leadership, empowerment and soul gifts. So you're stepping into your power. Many of my aquas, you're up leveling. You're getting a you're getting a position that is higher than the one you're on. You might be calling in a partner who's much better than the ones you've been with in the past. Answer the call. It's time to move. Ignore the naysayers. And we get the fertile void, inner winter, rest, patience, potency, secret beginnings. So secret beginnings is kind of this energy I keep picking up on aquas. And again, it's not meant to make you feel paranoid, but I do feel that it, whatever this is that you're doing, it's important you keep it close to your chest. 
um, because when something is 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 fledgling, something is isn't like if it's a business idea or if it's a move that you're going to make, if you tell the wrong people, you know, they're going to poo poo it or they're going to, you know, put you down or tell you all the reasons why it can't happen. And that's going to negatively affect whatever this is. Okay. So just keep it to keep it close to your chest, protect it and codes of the seeds. The blueprint is within you. Take the next step. My goodness, these messages are seriously resonating. I mean, they're just repeating, you know, it's time. You already have all the information you need. The manifestation, the seeds for this manifestation have been planted. Now you just need to take those steps and you're going to see how you're a magnet for what you need. The people, advice, the resources, you know, the protection, the, the ease, um, the balance, whatever it is that you need to make this happen. And the return, a new story. Yes, you decide alignment it's coming together you're ready to step on to a newer higher vibrational timeline aqua i'm going to leave it here sending you love and light if these messages resonate i am going to ask that you like share and subscribe also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards i'm using or you want to follow me on tiktok and instagram okay aquarius love and light take care